Hi, my name is Richard and I'm from the Escalated Support Team. In today's video, we're going to be discussing email blacklisting on your VPS and dedicated server. What is blacklisting? Blacklisting is an industry standard method of blocking IP addresses of mail servers that have been identified to be sending high volumes of malicious emails. There are hundreds of blacklists in use around the world. And while this may seem like a daunting number, major email providers such as Hotmail and Yahoo rely on a very small number of blacklists to block the overwhelming majority of spam sent to their networks. Identifying what lists I'm on. There are two primary methods of determining whether your mail server's IP address, which is typically the same IP as the main shared IP address of your VPS or dedicated server, is blacklisted or not. These two methods are receiving non-delivery reports, commonly known as bounce backs, or using a blacklist checking service. A non-delivery report is an automatically generated email from a recipient's email server, which provides details on why your email was not delivered and in some cases, it may actually include URLs on where to get assistance on resolving the delivery issue. Let's take a couple examples of these right here. This is one we can see is from Yahoo and it tells us right here that the messages from this IP address are temporarily deferred due to unexpected volume or user complaints. Next. We have this one which says your IP address has been temporarily deferred. Please retry this message later. And finally, we have one from Hotmail which says, unfortunately messages from your IP address weren't sent. Please contact your internet service provider since part of the network is on our block list. You can also refer to your provider to this following URL at live.com. Now, these are just examples from very popular mail providers. However, every non-delivery report will differ from email provider to provider. The other method is uh, what's called a black list checking service. And these are websites that will check your mail server's IP address against a database of various blacklists. These types of services are extremely popular as they offer a way to check whether your IP address is blacklisted somewhere without actually having to wait until you start receiving bounce back messages. The most popular of these blacklist checking services comes from a company called MX Toolbox. And it's actually one of the sites that we rely on for checking IP addresses internally. And let's go ahead and pull that website up here. This is just what it looks like. So if we actually would like to check to see if our IP address is blacklisted, what we would do is go up here to where it says blacklist. We'll click on that. And just as an example, I'm going to pull up this IP address that I happen to have. And we're going to check to see which ones are listed. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. As we can see from this example, this IP address is on a number of blacklists, which then tells me something suspicious is going on on this server. Now the good news is if I sign into an mxtoolbox.com account, I can get more information from all of these to see how I can possibly get them removed or how I may have gotten added to that list in the first place. Now, when we're talking about what this can mean for you is it means simply your emails to various servers will not be going through. So if you find your IP address on one of these lists, it is strongly advised to get it off of these lists as soon as you can. Prevention. Now let's use this IP address as an example for what steps we should take to prevent blacklisting from occurring. Now, given the number of blacklists this IP address is on, we can assume that it's currently spamming or has been spamming in the very recent past. A server administrator can use the mail tools within WHM to get a better idea of what is being sent from their server and by whom. 
Security is a key to helping prevent spam from leaving your server and thus preventing your IP address from coming blacklisted like our example here. This means that your server should be set up to enforce strong passwords for all accounts. This can be set up in WHM's Security Center. If you must send bulk emails, you should strongly consider using a premium service such as Constant Contact or MailChimp to send those bulk mails. Doing so ensures that any transactional bulk mailings take place away from your server and thereby not affecting the IP address of your server. Thirdly, you should make sure that all of the domains on your server have SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records set up and installed in their DNS zone files. You can automatically add SPF and DKIM records globally from within WHM itself, or you can log into each cPanel account and enable this from there. Unfortunately, cPanel does not currently support native DMARC key creation within it, so you can use the DMARC key generator from MX Toolbox to generate your record from which you'll then add to your domain's DNS zone. As you can see, right up here at the top, it says DMARC. From there, you would input your domain name and you could go from there to get your record that you would need to install. And that concludes today's video. I hope this provides you more information on how you can get yourself off of blacklists, what blacklists are, and some ways to prevent them. Have a great day.